Hello everyone and welcome back to Prockway. So this video is going to be a very special one and I personally think that this is one of the coolest things that I've built on this channel. In celebration of the new Hawkeye series that is coming out on Disney+, Plus, which I am super excited for, I felt it was the perfect opportunity to make Hawkeye's bow from the series and also from the movies. Now this project is a little bit different because this bow is almost 100% 3D printed which I haven't done much of on this channel. So I modeled this bow 100% from scratch and I put a link in the description below to purchase and download these files for yourself if you want to make it at home. The 3D printer that I used is a JG Maker Magic, which you can see in that corner over there. Big thanks to JG Maker for allowing me to work with them and to build something really cool. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and review of that 3D printer. So back to the bow. This specific bow design appears in the first Avengers movie and it then reappears for the series with a little bit of modifications to it. As far as the design of the bow, there really were two main features that I wanted to have when I made this. The first feature was I wanted it to actually be able to shoot something. Obviously, I'm not trying to shoot this thing 300 yards a second, taking out giraffes, but I didn't want it to be just a prop. I wanted it to be actually functional. And the second feature that I wanted, which I think is the coolest feature, is the whole snapping open, unfolding, just like Hawkeye does in the movies. And what's actually funny is that I came across a deleted scene from the original Avengers movie, and it shows Clint opening up the bow, but it looks like he's just holding the grip and there's no limbs to the bow. So I believe they just added that in with CGI, so I'm actually really proud that I was actually able to make a functioning one. And a little extra bonus feature is that I 3D printed a little port here to install a laser, which is actually accurate to the movies. But anyways, enough talking from me, let's get on with the build. So here is the 3D model that I made using SolidWorks. I split the bow into about six pieces and I imported those pieces into Cura, which is a very popular 3D printing software. That part specifically is the top part of the grip. And this piece took, I believe, about eight hours to print. And once that's done, you can really just peel that piece off the build plate. And you'll see that there's a lot of extra support material. This support material can easily be taken off with your hands. Some of the more difficult pieces, you can definitely use a pair of pliers and it won't damage your part. So then I just continue to print off the rest of the pieces. These pieces are going to be part of the limb. And as you'll see here, there's these two tabs that I built into it, and these snap into the sides of that grip. As you can see, there's holes built for that. And this is gonna kinda act as the hinge. And if your part is a little too tight to snap in and you don't wanna break your piece, then you can definitely heat it up a little bit with your heat gun. Make sure you don't wanna melt it and deform it. But if you warm it up just a little bit, you'll be able to flex the pieces and it should snap into those holes pretty easily. And as you can see, once they're snapped in, you'll have a nice hinge piece here. And I also added in this little snap piece. As you can see, the piece should snap in. And once you snap that in, it should be tight enough to be held in place. So this piece here is the bottom part of the grip. And again, you can just kind of take off that extra support material. Here I use a pair of pliers for some of the smaller stuff that I couldn't rip off with my fingers. So after you remove all of that support material, you can now attach the bottom part of the grip to the upper part. And as you can see, I designed in a little bit of a, just a little notch and a tab here. So really those pieces should just go together nicely. And then you can, you know, you can super glue it or there's other ways to join 3D printed plastics. And the good part about this bow is that in the trailers for the TV show, the grip actually has like a white tape wrapped around the handle. So not only is it gonna cover that seam, but it'll also add some extra strength and support to the pieces after you super glue it. So like I said, I'm just gonna be adding some of this crazy glue here all around. And once that's applied, you can just connect the two pieces and hold it in place for a little bit. And now I am using this hockey grip tape, which is used for hockey sticks. 
and I just wrapped this tape around the handle starting from the bottom. And once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. You can definitely add multiple layers if you'd like. I believe I added about two or three more layers after this, just so that it's a little bit more padding. Okay, so the last part of this bow to be assembled is this piece right here. And this is going to be connecting to this lower part of the wing through these hinges here. That should just slide in. And once you have those holes matched up there, you just take a shoulder bolt like this and if you just slide that through the holes it should catch all of them and then you'll put a nut on this side and then basically you have a hinge point right for this top part so that's going to really be the the last part of assembling this bow and then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom side Okay, so here is the assembled bow, obviously without the, the string. And that is what it should look like full size. Now obviously the part you do want to add is now going to be the string. Now if you know anything about archery, I know very little about archery, I did like 10 minutes of research before I built this thing. Basically, the string isn't elastic, you're really pulling on the string and that should be flexing the actual bow. But since this is 3D printed material, I don't want to put that much force on the bow itself. So I'm going to be using uh, an elastic string instead of just a regular, you know, non-elastic string. And that should allow me to shoot arrows decently. I'm not trying to, you know, do this for a real sport. It's just a prop. So I'm going to cut a piece of this and I'm going to tie it around the ends. If you didn't notice, the bow does have... I modeled in these little notches here at the end and I'll pretty much, you can tie the string around that notch and we'll see how it goes. So after adding the string, it should look something like this. And I left the string kind of loose right now. Um, I can always tighten it later. And I got the whole unfolding thing to work, but I wasn't recording. So I'm gonna do it right now just to prove to you guys that it works. <laughs> so it works guys it works I think one thing that I could do is if I put magnets right inside of this hinge so that when it closes it'll actually kind of be forced shut that might help out I don't know that I'm going to do it for this video because I don't want to damage it more than I probably have already but it works and I'm glad I got it on video and guys really that's the tutorial on the bow itself. I'm going to be making a few arrows just to do some test shots. Okay, so I just made three test arrows just to kind of shoot around with and to kind of practice. And this is what they look like. I actually don't think it came out too bad, I think. Obviously, you can see there's super glue and stuff. If you guys want, I could make a separate video on how to make it, but really, it's super simple. And I'm going to be practicing shooting the bow with this. So I've never shot a bow and arrow before, so... We are going to have fun learning together. Okay, that's... <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys had as much fun watching it as I did making it and I hope you guys learned something. And if you haven't already or if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I will be posting a lot more content coming up. And you guys definitely do not want to miss the things that I will be building. And as I promised, I wanted to do a quick unboxing and review of the 3D printer that I used. So let's get to it. So this printer was very well protected in the box. And as you can see, there's a bunch of styrofoam protecting the pieces. Here, I'm just pulling out the different components and laying them out before I assemble them. And assembling this thing took me about 45 minutes, which really isn't bad. There really were not that many pieces to the assembly and the instructions were very clear. And it all went together pretty much without any problems at all. And once it was assembled, I just did a quick test print here. 
And pretty much from opening the box to starting the test print took about an hour and a half. And I was extremely happy with how easy the process was. So if you're new to 3D printing and don't know where to start, or if you're an intermediate user, I would absolutely recommend using this printer. It's super easy to set up, super easy to maintain, and for the price, honestly, I don't think you're gonna find a better printer than this. And if you are interested in buying one, I have put a link in the description below to this exact printer. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.